This BMC Helix Control M video will show how to customize your user preferences to best fit your needs. After logging into your tenant, you can access the Preferences panel by clicking on your username in the top right, and choosing Preferences. Now, we see the list of user customizable options. The User Views option allows you to hide sections of the interface that are not relevant to your role or task. By clicking the drop-down, we can see that in addition to the default full view, some example user views are also provided. Next, we'll look in the planning section where we have the option to enable or disable auto-saving of workspaces. The default is enabled, which is likely a good idea to leave enabled as the changes are only saved to the workspace and does not affect anything outside of it until you choose to check in. In the same section, the option Workspace Default View allows you to change from the default title view to the alternative list view. In the monitoring section just below, we see two similar options named Services Default View and Viewpoints Default View that allow us to make the same change for viewpoint and services when in the monitoring domain. The next option is called Map Job Node Title. This parameter allows us to customize what text value will be used as the title field shown for each job in the monitoring domain. This only applies when using the tiles view and also requires you to log out and log back in to take effect. The next section is neighborhood, and it relates to the default behavior when using the neighborhood option to display the successor and or predecessor jobs for a specific job. The default direction option allows you to choose if you want a default to show both predecessor and successor, only predecessor, or only successor. The default radius option sets the default number of levels that will be shown. Finally, we have the Connect Options section which sets the behavior in the event that communication between your client and tenant is disrupted. You can choose to turn off the automatic reconnection process by disabling the Automatically Reconnect to Server option. If you choose to do so, and are disconnected you will be logged out immediately and will need to log back in once you are able to reconnect. With Automatic Reconnection enabled, the number of retries is set by the Max Connection Retries parameter and the time to wait between each retry is set by the time between retries parameter. Using the default values of 20 retries with 20 seconds in between, the client will try to reconnect over a total of 400 seconds before giving up and logging you out. That concludes this BMC Helix Control M Solutions video. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.